It's these four rascals that give us the honor and the privilege of being called grandparents. But to them, we're just Nana and Poppy. Passing on our faith to our grandchildren is a duty before God. Deuteronomy 4 9 tells us that it's our responsibility that doesn't end with our children, but it extends to our grandchildren as well. So it's up to us to leave a deep impression on these little guys before we leave this earth. As many of you know, our family has been through many challenges over the past two years. It's kind of been like a roller coaster ride with my help. We've encountered Jesus at time and time again through the nurses and the doctors that have cared for me in the various hospitals, through our church family here at Mayfair, and the community who have just shown such an outpouring of love and support that can only come from God. Our grandchildren have witnessed Jesus through so many of you as well. They've seen you at our, our house as you gathered around our porch, praying for my health and for my healing. They've seen you laugh with us. They've seen you cry with us. They've read the cards that you sent to us. And they've witnessed so many acts of kindness for our family. During this time, we've relied on the scriptures and we found ourselves continually crying out, asking you for prayers. We found ourselves being confused and not understanding what was going on. We found ourselves being scared of the unknown. Knowing God knew what was before us and behind us, it brought us the comfort and peace that we needed to get through that time. I can remember repeating over and over to myself, trust in the Lord, your God, with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. I can remember listening to Dudley and him asking God to be a shield around him and the lifter of his head. These four and their parents, they've been right there with us the whole, this whole journey. They've encountered Jesus every step of the way. Many of you are still wearing your Pray for Dudley bracelets that have James 5, 15 on it. Our family wore hats with that same scripture on it saying that if you pray for the sick person, God would make him well. Well, we as grandparents, we encounter Jesus every time we look into the eyes of these four grandbabies. We see their innocence, and every time we hear them pray. They've prayed for Poppy, as many of you have, and God has heard their prayers, and God has answered all of them. God has answered our prayers, and we give God all the glory for that. We have experienced Jesus through His healing presence, and His love for our family has been poured out by all of you. In the scriptures, 1 John 4, 12, it tells us that no one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. We have seen, we've felt, and we know the love of Jesus because your complete love for our family.